Hey, finally made it. Hey, I made my mama a promise that she won't find me on the pavement. This for the struggle of hustling for a dollar just to save it. This shit ain't free, and plus my family gotta eat, so nigga pay me. Yo. Hey, you think she waiting on us? Oh, we finna go. She said she, she in the truck. No. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so we just finished touring venue number one. Um, it was cool, man. It was cool. It was cool. We um It's nice out here. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Um, it's, it's a it's a lot of different um buildings. Yeah. You to know, use. for yeah, for one price. You, you get know. one, two, you get four buildings. Right. On this whole property. It's right. it's nice. Um, she said this is a historic place. Built in 1908. Right, right, um, right, right. Not now. She said it wasn't no slaves. She said him. it was a crop house. Yeah. A crop. But right, right. Oh, it, it do look, what you know, yeah, 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 a yeah, little yeah, Rosa yeah. Parks, a little um, nah, Perry. Yeah, yeah. Perry. Yeah, Kunta. Um, but, Back with Kunta. But, you know, it, it's. We got to put a picture of it up. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really nice. It though. is. It's really nice. Um, so it's really cool. homey. It's a cozy feeling. Right. I would think it's a very nice, intimate space. Yeah. Um, the reception area is beautiful. We're gonna show them. Right, right, That's right, why right, I'm going right. too much. But I, I do like it, even though this is number one. We have plenty more to look at. Right. Uh, and the woman was amazingly sweet, What's very that? helpful. And I can tell it was genuine. What's it wasn't that? a put on or a front. She was very, very sweet. She reminded me of someone else I know. But right. But uh, yeah, so man, we finna drop the footage. She coming out to the car, so we finna roll, and uh, we'll see y'all after venue number two. <laughs> You know, sometimes we get asked, you know, where, was this a slave house? And it was really the crop house. Um, if you book the manor with us on a Saturday, you get one hour rehearsal and you get a one hour planning meeting. And that planning meeting, we usually have two to three weeks in, uh, in advance of your wedding. And in that planning meeting, what we're talking about is what's the setup going to be? How many chairs, tables do you want? Are you going to rent anything from us? What's your arrival time? Let's work out. Tips, you know, this is a formal um, dining room. Most brides don't use it. We have this ribbon here, not mm -hmm. to prevent you from going in there. You can get in through the other dining room, but um, oftentimes people get a little tripped up by the steep stairs here, the two steps. You basically take two steps and then you're going down again. So mm -hmm. we're encouraging people to go in that way. So okay. it's a little less complicated on your food. space to do that. Also, this furniture is great for the detail shots, like with your invitation, your shoes, your jewelry. Yes. 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 Oh, my goodness. How many places have y'all looked at? This is the first one. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm feeling like you're getting goosebumps or something. <laughs> the case is you can kind of peek out that's the parking lot for your guests 
And this is the groom's quarter back here, this little white house. And so you can kind of see what's going on everywhere from this room. We have fans in there um, in case you get hot. Of course, the air conditioning and heating uh, adjustments are right here on the wall, and y'all are welcome to adjust those to how you want the day of your wedding. Okay. We do have a full size bathroom up here. But it seems like most of them use it besides going potty, mm -hmm. maybe last minute shave your legs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't encourage showers. Oh, I'm ready, you guys. But sometimes, you know. I'm not. Um, so this den is really nice if you, you have a big wedding party or family. Um, a lot of times family photos happen in front of the house or under the pavilion. Um, and depending on the temperatures, rain, weather, whatever, this is a great place for a family to hang out. And again, if you are wanting to do a lawn wedding, this is where your wedding party is going to hang out before they line up to go outside more than likely. Okay. So yeah. if uh, I'm more of an indoor, so yeah. it would be ceremony in the, the other building okay, as yeah. well as reception center. We can do it all that way. Yeah. So we do it your way, <laughs> not my way. It's your wedding day. I'm just talking to you about the space. Um, you have access to this whole kitchen on Friday before. You can bring in your food snackies if you want to. Mm -hmm. um, you just, the, the thing about the, uh, this house in the groom's quarters is you have it up until the ceremony time. And so what that means is you have to get all your personal items in trash or removed, food, whatever, before the ceremony starts. Mm. Because we will lock up this building. The exception is to let you in to eat. Okay. After the ceremony, okay? Okay. So yeah. all of your things and extra clothes have to be. And normally what happens is the hour before your wedding, mm -hmm. Photography pretty much stops with women anyway because they don't want guests to come out. See, I should have worn some with some tread on it. Well, you're looking cute. You're looking cute. <laughs> Sometimes you've got to risk your safety for the look and the, for the love of beauty. <laughs> set up your your ceremony under the pavilion that's also another option usually it's going to be facing that field we do not own the farmland that's somebody else's mm -hmm. so we never know what they're going to farm there the barrels can be used as decor part of your setup a guest book whatever sometimes they use it to frame out your wedding like on either side of where y'all and the minister would stand mm -hmm. um so those are come with the venue um if you are doing your ceremony out here, you're gonna probably process out of those two doors. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. You can also use that as part of your reception space if you want. We have 35 round tables. We can do tables inside and outside. Okay. I'll tell you though, what I see most, depending on what time of year, maybe you're a big sports fan, maybe you're yeah. golf, maybe you're football. You, we have big TVs, a big TV in there. And you can plug in your, I don't know, what, what is it? A video a game? Stick or... <laughs> <laughs> your game? Yeah. Oh, people have the winter wedding. Jesus. Right? Okay. Now, this does smell like a pancake in here. <laughs> we have uh, the teakwood. Yeah, the girl loses. I'm slipping, too. We have the teakwood uh, Bath and Body plug in in here. But this well, that smells good. Really. Yeah. Um, so we have this, these TVs you, you can plug in. We do have Wi-Fi. It's not super strong, but the guys have a kitchenette and then they have a, a bathroom, just a toilet back there and some full, full length, uh, mirrors or yeah. long mirrors rather. Yeah, there are more games. <laughs> but again, most people, most people are going to stream it from their phones. Yeah, days. anyway. Yeah. Okay, so this is the guy's spot. Have you thought about your rehearsal dinner? I have not. Okay.
bathrooms and one propped open these windows and it was extremely comfortable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is set for about 75 right now. Mm -hmm. So you could go to about 100, but again, it's gonna be tight. Um, caterers typically use this table for the food buffet for the rehearsal dinner. Uh -huh. Now this was, 75 is huge. Most yeah. people have 20 to 30. This girl had 14 guys made. And then this, from this grid line in the concrete to that grid line, that's basically your aisle. Depending on how many guests you have, we may set a chair on the inside of the grid line or the outside of the grid line. Right. So you have a pretty wide aisle here, if you do it out here. I'm gonna show you inside, because I know you're an inside girl. Okay. Just to give you a sense. 23. I'm looking at 23 mm -hmm. times 8. Go ahead and hit it in. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so warm in here. My goodness. Right. Yes. Oh, this is great. I got here a little early. We started some laundry. Make sure the heat was on. We'll probably, I'm going to steam over in a second with my glasses. <laughs> Switch. So when it's time for you to pokey down, go ahead and turn the lights down. Oh, this is pretty. Um, these tables are 60 inch rounds. We do rent right now white uh, tablecloths for $15. You can rent tablecloths cheaper. Mm -hmm. um, we're barely covering our labor costs right now at 15 and sometimes we're not paying them. Um, you can even buy them cheaper, but then you need to see them no matter. So, um, I'm not gonna know, y'all. I'm not gonna. Can't afford it right now. Yeah. Let's start for the reception, though. Get lit. Sir. Scared to go in here, my boy. Where's the light at, huh? There we go. I'm going to coast. Oh, this seems hard, though. Okay. Okay. Short, though. Let's get back up here with these folks. Man. Like, I'm giving this man a tour, he's doing his own thing. There's a dishwasher, there's an oven to heat up things. We're yeah. not equipped for full on cooking the food here. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do have an oven, 
and I did get a bride ask that we don't have the pots and pans that would be a lot to bring in that's true bring in your raw meat and all that caterers don't normally do that you know <laughs> yeah they could You alright? <laughs> it's cold as all over there. Alright, y'all. So we just left venue number two. Man. Bomb. Wow. You want to flip it and get a side view? Huh? It's a side view, but. Yeah. Can I see it? Yep. It's very beautiful. So, yeah, venue number two is a, it's for sure a hit. It's but, top. Hey, they're they going to try to take you down through that, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, they want to the But, um. Uh, and she um, showed us picture presentations of other weddings they've had here you talking about beautiful um right. top of the line nicest decor um the space is huge it's it's breathtakingly beautiful and the view out here it's just amazing right. yeah so y'all finna see it man it's it's, it's it's different in there you know nice. what i'm saying you look sleeping you see the beautiful scenery and everything man everything is, more than enough parking space yeah everything it's real cool really man so you know the the number. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, you know, we got, we got a lot of discussion, you know what I'm saying? So, but anyways, that's venue number two, man. We got one more to show y'all for this video. So, we'll see y'all yes. after that. Go. Oh, my goodness, we've had photo booth in here. We've actually got two weddings this weekend. So, we've got, we're going to have uh, the guest gift table, guest signing table in here. We've got these great screens, so if you want to put your pictures up here, or you want to put welcome to our wedding, or whatever you want to have. When did y'all get engaged? Uh, Christmas Eve. Oh, yeah. so like just recent. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, well congratulations. Well. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. You did great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's really good. Well, if you, you probably haven't had your engagement pictures, but if you wanted to right. put those up on the screen, you can do that. Oh, okay, that's nice. You know, make it a little bit yeah. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Right. Okay, that'll be um, that's definitely nice. I say this space, if you wanted to do, you know, cocktails in here okay. or a bar, a photo booth, whatever, it's a really okay. unique space. Come on, I have a few already. You know. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. That that that'll be the maximum. Maximum. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, and I know you're looking like next June, right? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So the wedding tomorrow is for 120. So okay. they're getting married uh, off site, and then they just come in here for the reception. Okay. Oh. So they got a full ballroom, and this is great because it gives you kind of an idea of what you can do for the set. So yeah. the cake's going to go in that corner, which is really pretty. Mm -hmm. Then we've got the bistro tables there and all the tables and chairs that you see are included. So this is all part of it. And then there's actually got a bridal party on that long table there. And the DJ's going in the middle. And they're not actually having a dance floor, but that's the dance area in the middle. Okay. And then the food is all the way at the end there. We've got the long tables for the food. And then this is the uh, bar and the can leave it blocked off if you want to do that but honestly this is the prettiest the section you right. got, yeah you don't really want to miss that because you've got that lovely two walls of windows there looking yeah. out onto the garden so so, so you've got a couple of options okay because we're rich <laughs> and you've got the view of course which is unbelievable oh, and the building face west so you get the most incredible sunsets in june the sun's going to be setting right there over the hill oh wow 
So currently, you know, we're in January, so that's been kind of going for that. It'll be June when it sets over there, and it'll be around 8.20 p.m. Yeah. in June, so it's a okay. nice light in a minute. Mm-hmm. Right, right. <laughs> I just got a plastic on there. It's my favourite <laughs> season. It's winter, but is it? it is. Oh no, I love it. I'm ready for the sun. I like, I like the summer. Give me the sun. And, but this is covered, so you know if it does sprinkle, it's covered. It's also got lights in the ceiling, so at night time it gets lit out here. You know, oh, people can see. Yeah. Um, you can put the high bistro tables out here. So you want to put the cocktail tables. You can have your bar out here if you wanted to do that, you know, mm-hmm. if it's pretty. Um, and at the end, we put hedges across to give you some privacy from the restaurant. So that hedge okay. there, they've actually got two more that go across so you're nice and separated from the restaurant. Um, some people have their bar down there as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, you've got options again. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. This is true. And you know what? Even on a miserable day, even if it is pouring with rain and it's grey, it is stunning out there yes. because you've still got the you've still got the lake and the uh-huh. sky and it's it's so big, the colours are beautiful. So even when it's grey, yes. it's lovely. Like the, your sunset is I, I, I never get tired of looking at that view. Oh, and in this glass right here, it mm-hmm. just, I mean, look out at the rain, it doesn't it's, Yeah, it's really pretty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so are there any um, specifics on catering and Yes, so I've got the, um, did you see the attachments? Did they come through? Sometimes they uh, don't attach. I don't even remember. I have to go back and look. We've got a caterer list. I'll make sure that I send it to you again. Okay. Um, if the guys want to get ready here. Okay, okay. Let's, let's see what we have now. Huh? Okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 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 where the guys can hang out so, um, we've actually just got it set for tomorrow but we've got, this is typically how it how it is with some tables you've got a garment rack oh, chairs for so. your old hang out okay. that leads back into the ballroom mm. okay so you go that door through. this door here yeah, that leads straight into the ballroom there. Okay. or you can come through this door <sighs> We're ready to choose this one. I know, know it. You kind of get disorientated, but it's we've just gone round in a big circle. Ah, this okay. hallway connects back to the lobby, and then there's another entrance to the ballroom there, and this one. Okay. And then, did you want to see the kitchen? Sure. Show you, yeah. So you're getting the platinum tour. <laughs> Thank you. So we have. This is, of course, you're not going to be coming down here. Right. right. Okay. Right. But we have the. These are our bar fronts. Um, the alcohol is provided by a third party, our bar team. But these, if you wanted to roll it out into the lobby or on the patio, they're all on wheels. So the, the team loads up with the mm-hmm. ice and everything, right. and then they can roll it out for you. We've, we've got five of these bar fronts. Okay. the best catering kitchen in Memphis. We've got everything that your caterer is going to need. Oh, wow. So we've got the, the fryers, the griddles, 
grills, ovens, uh, and then these are electric hot boxes. We've also got walking cooler. Um, this is the loading bay. It's really easy for your caterer to load in. There's no steps, no ramps. They okay. just roll straight into here. Mm. Um, this is the scullery, so this is kind of a clean up area. Mm -hmm. Dishwasher, ice machine, and then the best thing is you go right into the ballroom. Oh, wow. Oh. Right oh, back. It feels like we've just walked miles. Wait, oh. wait, we're right back at the end. So we're right back here. So tomorrow, for example, this is where they're going to have their food, which is nearest to the kitchen. So they've got that. But I mean, you could, you can put your food anywhere in the ballroom. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's going to come out nice and hot and fresh. Right. In the kitchen. Right. Exactly. And there's the nature of table down there. So you want to pull it here. You're getting all excited again. It's nice and light as well. So you've got you've got the high windows, so you feel it's nice and airy. You don't feel like it's closed in. Right, right. <laughs> well, we can go back. How many chairs are these? Is that 120, right? Yeah, these are actually it's just over because that's 110, it's at 110, 130, including the ones at the um, bridal party. Okay. But these are the tables that we provide the 72 inch rounds, and you can seat 10 per table. Okay. These are all included. You can have as many as you want or as few. Okay. Um, we also have these high bistro tables. Um, the rectangular tables, typically the caterers will use that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very, very no, so this you is can nice. use as many or as few as you want. Can we use that as cake table? The round one. We've just gone round in a big circle again. And then, Brittany, I'll have to show you this because this is really exciting. Ooh, nice. Oh, this is like so good on the Oh, we had 12. No lines, Ooh. no lines, no waiting. That makes sense. Oh, wow. See, the guys don't appreciate this, but the ladies <laughs> always have to yeah. wait in line. So, <laughs> you never have lines here. Oh, yeah. You're like a long bear, you have to wait. Right. <laughs> So we've got plenty. Oh, that's Oh wow. This is oh. Oh. It's automatic. Oh that's nice. You said this is the uh bridal uh, -huh. uh okay. And we've also got closets. You can take garments or put purses or things like that. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Okay. And this is the bridal bed. Oh that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So For your send off, this, these are indoor sparklers, and I've been dying for somebody to use these ever since I heard about them. So, this was New Year's Eve. They're completely cold, there's no smoke. Oh, wow! Mm -hmm. uh, but they're spectacular. It's beautiful. Yes, that's nice. I like the flowers, the floor uh -huh. arrangement at the top. This, so this was just last week. I can't believe it's a week ago, it seems like it was just Maybe yesterday now. Really. Just to give you an idea of what you can do in that room, so they they draped the whole of the interior of the ballroom and had a fan. So, um. yo, 
So we just left venue um, number three. three. And man, it was cool. It was cool. You know what I'm saying? It was it was real homey. Um, smaller, but yeah, you know, sometimes that's that's cool too. We ain't gonna have thousand folks and then you know yeah. sitting at the wedding so that was cool and it was set up already mm -hmm. like we walked in she had the table linens the right, right. flowers she had the arch right. at the front she had the drapes in the wall like she had it dressed up yeah, the whole building she, like she had a little music playing she was trying to reel us in real she good was. you know what i'm saying but you know it's she cool wanted stuff. Payment today yeah mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> so yeah man we just, uh, just left that one and hopefully we ain't got that many more yeah, even though we have like three more on the list, so it'd been six in all, but that's a lot. We can check out some other three, you know. So yeah, man. So we're gonna uh, drop the footage, y'all. Check this out. Check that out. Let us know what y'all think, man. And um, we'll see y'all next week, man. So this is it for episode number two. Yeah, episode number two. From the DM to the altar. Shoot. Bulletin for infinity. Shoot. Uh, we out. Oh man. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. This right here, this, this warm me over right here. <laughs> this warm me over. Yeah, there you go. Usually, Boise, I love this, this part of the whole deal. I didn't know this one. Entertainment for the day. What? <laughs> what? Oh yeah, this is definitely one. Oh, you like it. <laughs> yeah, we have to lock the guys out. And so it's time for the wedding. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, a little, that's a little warming fireplace thing, too. Oh, and then this is um, this is manifest candles. Uh -huh. This, and then now that's set up, we can have a rehearsal 
dinner mm -hmm. on a Friday mm -hmm. night. Since you get it Friday at noon till Sunday at noon. Okay. I didn't know if y'all knew the time frame on that. But the three thousand dollars oh. covers all that time. So you have it for forty eight hours for the weekend basically. Wow. So you have plenty of time to decorate and then if you you know, it, you probably will be having a rehearsal and slash dinner right. that Friday night mm -hmm. and you can have it out here and then if you still want to take it live or if you want to pick up your camera and mm -hmm. put it back in that service room, then you can do that either way. Yeah, I would put it back in and just have this room open. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It turns out it's a real pretty product. And it's our kitchen. And if you do happen to need to heat in the oven, we have two ovens mm -hmm. for generally the caterers job. That wouldn't be big enough for them. But if they needed yeah. to, they could, or you could for that night, that Friday night. So. I like this. Isn't it nice? It just it feels open. You have a lot of room. And Everybody's conscious of trying to be separated a little bit. This middle yeah. statement stuff oh, going on. Like the statement piece right here. Yeah. And this? Yeah, I, that's one of my favorite pieces. I love that piece. That looks like a wine. Isn't that cute? Yes, it could be one thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, well, it's, it's the right height to pull up the chairs. I don't know. You might, I don't know how big your wedding party is. You might want to spread out in here. If, if that's a good idea. This episode was brought to you by Think Rich, huh? Yeah, straight up. Go get that.